Hello people, my name is Ferdy and in this tutorial I will show you step by step how to create a grouped product within WooCommerce. So people can buy multiple products on one page, for instance one PlayStation with three extra controllers, two docking stations and one headphone. This is also a great option when you want to sell food on your website. If you want to learn from start to finish how to create a complete web shop using WordPress and WooCommerce, then watch this tutorial. Now let's get started. I hover over new. And I go to product and this product will contain multiple products. So what I want to sell, I want to sell a play station five, but not only that, I want to include controllers, a charging dock station for the controllers to be charged and a headphone. So I scroll down, I go from a simple product to a grouped product and let's create a new category electronics electronics yes we'll get there and a subcategory game consoles with the parent electronics okay i grab a product image but i don't have one because i cannot place those in my folder for you because uh, i don't own the rights so what you can do if you want to follow along Go to Amazon, search for PlayStation 5. And I search for the digital edition. This one, for instance. Let's see if there's a better looking image. This one. Cool. I save it and I rename this PlayStation five digital edition. I always rename my images for the search results. Then I go for a PlayStation five controller white, just the, the, the regular one. Amazon's choice. I call it the image PlayStation five controller. What else? I want to have a docking station. This one, the bestseller. Save the image. PlayStation 5 docking station. And a headphone. PlayStation 5 headphone. Maybe, maybe, maybe this one. So we can talk to each other while being online. PlayStation 5 headphone. So what I want to do, I want to create a few products. This one is the one I will publish. PlayStation 5 product image. Let me upload them all. Holding shift, open. Okay, I grab this one. Update. And now I go to new product. And this is the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition console, or whatever you want to call this. Product image, the same one. But what I want to do, I want to go to the catalog visibility here at Publish and I want to hide it from the entire shop. Why? I do not want to show this as a single product on my website. I only want to show this in the grouped product. So I say hidden. Okay. Publish. And I need to have a price. So 399.99. There's no sale. Update. Now I want to copy it to a new draft. And this time I go for a PlayStation 5 controller. Copy the title. Edit the permalink. Paste the permalink. Click on OK. It's still hidden. That's what I like. I change the image, of course, to the controller. And the controller is sold for $6 or $59.99. Publish. Then I copy it as a new draft and I say PlayStation 5 headphone. Copy it. Paste it. OK. Click on the image, go for the headphone, 
and the headphone is $129.99. Publish. And then the latest one. They're all hidden. So let me show you in a minute. PlayStation 5 docking station. Copy the title. Paste it. Change the image. And uncheck the uncategorized. And this is only $90.99. Publish. Okay, now if I go to the store, let me update this really quick. I go to the store. Where is it? Nowhere. Only this one. So I click over here again. I edit the product. And now, look at this. I scroll down. Since it, it is a group product, I can go to link products, group products, and I select or I choose PlayStation. Then I go for the digital edition, PlayStation the controller. After that, the PlayStation docking station. And then the latest one, PlayStation headphone. Okay, look at this. I go to the website, I go to this product, and now people can buy multiple things. So most of the time they want to buy one PlayStation, but maybe they want to have three extra controllers and two docking stations and a headphone. And maybe you want to add some games over here. That's how you can create a group product. And in cases like this, it's handy. I never use it for my own websites and I also never use it for websites of clients. But I just want to show you what is possible. If you want to learn more about categories, tags, product descriptions, featured images, the gallery, and more about configuring the product page, then you can watch this tutorial. There I'll show you everything there is to know. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Good luck with your website and bye-bye.